This is an announcement that comes every year and it's that time of year again the best and worst services have been revealed so his highness sheikh mohammed bin rashid al maktoum vice president and prime minister of the ue and ruler of dubai he tweeted the announcement so he said at the beginning of the year we launched a project to measure the quality the quality of government services and they've called it the government services observatory uh, which receives which receives a million valuations per month and actually um, they evaluate from the public's choice and they look at 1400 government services which is a vast range so the ruler noted that the top of the best services according to the public is insurance of passports and uh, driver's licenses and now tags uh, much less time and along with excellent services of the ministry of interior and foreign affairs so there he said at the top is the issuance of driver's licenses uh, which has been quite quick and then at the bottom of the list are the services of attestation and equivalents of educational certificates and also booking medical appointments. Uh, so that is what the public have voted to be the slowest performing. Um, so he finished the tweet by saying this method of transparency and announcing these results is a guarantee to, of continuous development and improvement, i.e. calling out the lowest performing services is going to be that kick they need to improve, respond, get a little bit quicker, and then uh, hopefully next year um, the governments will approve. It's like um, school rating systems. Mm-hmm. I think Sharjah announced this year that they had no very low rating because it's a continuous yearly approval and everyone's striving to do better to achieve, um, to, uh, to just improve overall. And then with a continuous ranking, and if it's publicized, And then if you're charging based on these rankings, for example, yeah. you're going to see that every school no longer wants to be in that continuous low rating. And that's what Sharjah has seen this year, which is amazing. And I love this transparency from the government. Like always, whenever this news breaks out, like people really appreciate this coming to the public and for them to see exactly what entities, entities are performing well, which are not, which need improvement. And then they themselves have the... Uh, reports, you know, as to like where we need to improve, what we're doing good, what we need to, you know, work on. So all these reports just benefit in basically uh, in every sense. So if you are in the uh, medical booking departments, uh, the public is not happy um, and they had over a million uh, votes. So um, I, I imagine you'll be getting to it. And then also what's interesting is what they actually do within the government is that they move them. Uh, this is what I heard in previous years. They'll move the managers from the top performing to the lowest performing. So it's a continuous. So no one's going to sit back and just relax. Oh, we're the top performing now. Mm-hmm. They move the management around to ensure that there's always the best management within each uh, within each industry. which is great.